Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about interactive widgets. Of course, Apple introduced finally interactive widgets with iOS 17. It is still currently in beta, of course, but you can now interact with the widgets on your home screen. Things like reminders. You can also play and pause and music. But of course, Apple also opened up the platform to developers and developers will actually make this section explode once iOS 17 is officially released. But as of right now, iOS 17 is in beta and some developers have already pushed out a few betas for their very own widgets and interactive widgets. So I wanted to share those with you guys, how you can get your hands on them and how you can beta test these if you're running iOS 17. So let's go ahead and dive right into this one. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, and don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. So of course, these apps and iOS 17 are currently still in beta, so they're not perfect by any means. You will run into a few bugs here and there, but if you wanna give it a try, let me give you a quick example on how developers can take advantage of interactive widgets once iOS 17 is officially released. So here is Apple's music widget, right here it is. You can play and pause, that's pretty much it. That's everything you can do with Apple's widget. Here's a developer's widget right here, the Music View Pro. This widget allows you to like a song, forward backwards a track play and pause you get the album artwork and you can further customize it when you click into the application you have a small medium and large size platter here now you can test this one out right now the developer has sent me 50 spots so there's 50 spots available to test right now if you're running iOS 17 if you didn't catch any of those 50 spots there's also going to be a wish list link in the description down below so when more spots open up the developer will let you try it out and as you can see right here let's go ahead and customize the medium size widget we have our settings here to link apple music or spotify and other options we can mess around with you also have the album name which you can go ahead and apply and remove the like button right here we also have the ability to customize play controls artwork, a refresh, and all that good stuff. Now, in order to add a widget, of course, you'll add a widget just like you do with any other widget. There's the application. Just go into edit mode here. Click on the plus icon and then find the application here. Let's go ahead and click. Here it is. Small, medium, or large. And then you can add the widget to the home screen just like you would with any other widget. Now, everything works through test flight, of course. This is Apple's application that allows you to install beta apps on your iPhone for testing purposes. Now, if you want to try other applications not just widget I recommend airport a lot of the beta apps are here as well now not every developer uploads here but you can find a lot of the new stuff before it is officially released to the public here we have some of the new apps available here we have clips and mental health we have more popular we have sleep better and widget as well so if you tap into a section here you may find something that you like and you can test before the official release of the application again interactive widgets will be something that's going to explode once iOS 17 is officially released to the public and since Apple opened up the platform to developers I'm sure developers will take advantage of this just like the developer of Music View Pro did with the music widget interaction here within iOS 17. Let me know what you think about interactive widgets. Is there any widget you would like to see hit your device once iOS 17 is officially out? I would like to hear from you in those comments down below. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.